Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial and in this video I will be showing you a simple a pretty basic Photoshop tutorial on how to add a type of coloring effect to your pictures. I don't really know how you can describe this effect but it is related to colors. Alright, okay so basically this is the original image. If you want this image I'll put a link in the description. This will work with pretty much any image you have but if you want this the links always there okay so um, this is the original image and this is what I turned it into okay so there are a few options you guys can choose actually there are many options that you guys can choose to do this as or like and um, really however you want it you can set it to that so this is pretty much the first way I can do um, this effect. If you don't like that, you can always do it this way. Okay? So, there you go. Or you can do both. Looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, so, anyways, back to what I was saying. Okay, so, um, this only requires a few steps, and um, it's actually really quick. Oh, if I didn't mention that. You guys can also do this effect on GIMP. Well, you can. GIMP is a free program, so if you don't have Photoshop, there's a great alternative out there, which is GIMP. Okay, so I'll delete all my layers. So what you want to do first is import your picture. In this case, it is this picture. And um, once you've imported it, make sure to select your background or that picture. And we're going to go down to this half moon icon and we're going to select it and click on hue and saturation and make sure edit is on master everything is on zero except down here in saturation we're going to pull down the saturation and um, I'm not going to give you a specific um, integer because really it depends on the coloring of your image in this case I'll put around 70 something okay make sure to kind of like desaturate your picture but not the whole thing like don't make it black and white only but make sure to leave a little bit of coloring left click OK and I think that's pretty good and we'll just make a new layer and this is where we're going to set all our colors to um, so the first color I'll just put our red you know how you can choose any color you'd wish so okay so here are the brush just choose a hard brush make sure hardness is at 100 percent and your pixels I won't give you a specific pixel either because your image might be bigger or smaller and that might require a bigger or smaller brush so that that's all on you just choose the brush that you feel is right okay so once you've got that what we're gonna do is like I said earlier you have a few options what you can do is just smudge around like go around and then choose a different color go around or what you guys can do is just make straight strokes down like this and change color and we'll just go down like that and just repeat the process with different colorings Okay. And I'll choose my last color is green. Alright, so once you're done, in this blending tab option thing, I'm going to select it and make sure to put it on soft light. And as you guys can see, we can still see the background image now. Now, what we're going to do is go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And what this will do is it will actually kind of blend in the picture or actually the color to make it look better and just arrange your pixels to whatever you'd like or however you'd like it to look this will all depend on you and once you're done select OK and there you will get your image and you can just save it on your desktop or whatever you want you can if you have like a picture of yourself maybe you want to add this effect to it cool go ahead do it it's actually really simple and a nice looking effect. 
Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped you guys out. Or maybe just hope you like it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.